Hello, my friends. Welcome back to the project. It's me, your host, the Dark Knight. I'm back with another dose of horror to quench your insatiable appetite. Today's medicine is in the form of a random autica pill. But to all my ghost and true crime fans out there, do not worry. The next videos will be just that. Ghosts and demons and serial killers and psychopaths. I don't want this channel to get lame or stale since there's so many horror junkies out there to feed. Now these random Nautica videos, there are a lot of fake people out there. I'm just showing you the videos. What you decide is totally up to you. Well, it's that time again. So close the door, draw the curtains and turn out the lights. Then get comfortable and go full screen. Now, open wide for your dose of random Nautica videos that made them regret. The doctor is in session. Hey bear. The first video comes from the big dogs at Mindseed TV, Casey, Tanner and Colton. Now Mindseed TV are not known for random Nautica videos. In fact, up until this point, they didn't even know what it was. The only reason they made this video was because their fans kept asking them. So, for the fans, they decided to give it a try. Tanner looked right at me and said, that's definitely a bear. So, as Anomaly is set into the system, they were on their way. From the jump, Casey didn't want anything to do with this app, and it didn't go well. I'm gonna say for the record, um, I think this is dumb. All right. I just okay. with it out there. I so think what? it's cool. <laughs> I, mean, I, I think the concept is cool. I think, I think it's cool. Concept I think cool. getting people out and exploring, it's kind of yeah, like... If, if you get one in ten, at least you went out and you did something, you know? It's kind of no, like, this is a weird comparison, but it's kind of like Pokemon Go. Yeah. I was just going to say, yeah. the folks exactly. has a Pokemon Go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like the whole Pokemon Go. Yeah. It got people out there walking, chilling, stuff. So, so. what we're going to do is pull over, get the gear out, maybe switch seats, I'll put the camera in. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Should I go down this shit? Yeah. Yeah, it's hard to say. All right. We're still good. And what's this saying? We've yeah. got, we got like a pin mark or something on. Yeah, it's literally like at the end of this trail. What trail? We'll have to. What are those? I'm not really sure. Fucking portal putty? What is that? Uh, those are hunting ones. Oh, yeah. Those are like little things for people to hunt in, right? I would just pull up right here and stop. Yeah. So getting out of the car, the first thing that we saw, there was a couple sets of eyes off in the distance in the vegetation, and I don't know what they were. It could have been deer. It could have been wolves. I don't know. I'm in a territory that I'm not familiar with. Dude, look at all the fucking eyes out there. Can you guys see that shit? Yeah, our phones aren't gonna pick it up, I don't think. As they arrived at the location, it was clear that Randa Nautica had led them to a territory that they were not familiar with. There were dozens of wild animals there, as you can tell from the eye shine. Also, the boys were hounded by hundreds and thousands of insects. So, as they trudged towards the point, Casey made it clear what his biggest fear was. As we were making our way down to the bank of the river, there was actually some movement in the bushes up ahead of us, which freaked us out a bit. What the fuck? What the fuck, what the is, fuck that? is that? I saw the aftermath of what had gone through the bushes and just the lightly swaying of the, of the plants. For them, it looked like they were toe to toe with whatever it was that was causing this movement. What the fuck? What the fuck, what the is, fuck, that? fuck is that? I saw the bushes move like aggressively ahead of us. And this is a different realm. This is not paranormal anymore. Like we're out in wildlife and people do get hurt all the time by stumbling across shit that they're not supposed to. You see anything? No. It kind of looked like it was moving in another direction, so we decided to continue down to the dropped pin. That most probably was a bear. Unlike other nocturnal animals, bears are not shy, and most times they will follow you. The pin drop location was on the banks of a river, so the guys finally arrived. All the way to their location, there were signs that something big had either gone in the same direction as the guys or whatever it was had used this path frequently. The guys wouldn't have to wait long for their answer. Whatever comes down this path has got to be somewhat big because this is a big ass trail. Huge open. Yeah, there's a lot of... Once they got to the pin drop, 
They had a look around and, amazingly, it looked like they were about to find something. But it was just one half of a briefcase. It's a fucking... Been there for a while. Here, use a stick, pick it up. It's like a fucking... Oh shit, that's like, like a, a pelican in fucking case. We all saw what was the top of a briefcase. And for me, I've seen their videos before and I'm thinking automatically, great, here goes another mystery box. Oh, look. oh, sorry. Yeah, let's take that out. Get up in there. What the fuck? This is weird. Same weird. You can tell that shit that's in there been for a minute. Fuck. There's all sorts of shit. God damn. There's like sand fleas coming up. What is that? Is it empty? It looks that's like that's what's inside of it. Is that a gun case? Or what is a tool case of some sort? What is that? What is that? Is that it's a gun case? That's the on top of it. Now, wait, Dude, why is there so many fucking bugs jumping down here, bro? Oh, that's the top. So that's the, the top. Oh, there oh, is no bottom. Okay. We discovered what we thought at the time was a briefcase. It ended up actually just being like the lid or half of the briefcase. So there was really nothing there. Now, remember, this is Random Nautica videos that they regret. And suddenly, Casey's nightmare became a reality. All right, well, I know they didn't just lead us through the fucking... Wait, wait, wait. Shh, shh, shh. When we were poking around on the beach, trying to find stuff and explore, uh, Casey heard something in the trees. You heard that, right? Actually. I just heard it again, that broken stick right here. Hey, bear. Hey, bear. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's it's pretty intense. I mean, we could probably do a couple more here later. Yeah. Just right now with all these bugs and being out here uh, surrounded by glowing eyes. So basically, we just got to follow that trail back. Yeah, that one's big. It's got a weird skull. Yeah. And like maybe at the salt and sea, but most lakes don't just have a bunch of fish skeletons all over. You know what I'm saying? Okay, yeah. I definitely heard that one right there. There was one large growl that had some base to it. Like maybe at the salt and sea, but most lakes don't just have a bunch of fish skeletons all over. You know what I'm saying? Okay, yeah. I definitely heard that one right there. And then we heard it again. And uh, Tanner looked right at me and said, that's definitely a bear. Hold on. You guys heard that one, right? Yeah, guaranteed. And when I tell you I've never felt closer to just fucking diving in a fucking river with all my camera equipment and swimming across it. That was the moment. You guys heard that one, right? Knowing that we had to go back up that trail to get to the car, and there's a 99% chance that that is in fact a bear in the woods. As they made their way back, it was obvious that the bear was gaining on them. So, regrettably, they ran. Over and at. I'm good. Careful, look down when you're walking too. Hey bear. Hey bear. As we were walking back up the path, we hear another huff, and this one was audible. So as soon as we heard it, we kind of looked at each other and decided that we needed to move it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah dude. Cool. Come on, bro. Fuck, oh, shit. To watch the full video and more, jump over to Mindseed TV. The chopping block. Wait, you found that in there? Bro, the handle was just sticking out right there. I seen something shiny, like right before you grabbed it. I thought it was like a piece of like aluminum. Point. Now you got your fingerprints on it. This is Raptor Adventures, and tonight's Random Nautica adventure had some company. Jody from Hunting the Dead and Oh My Gosh tagged along. And tonight, they would find an amazing discovery. Their first intention was crime. So, they set off into the night. Random Nautica led them to the edge of a forest where there was a cemetery and some abandoned houses.
They walked around for a long time until they found their first item. As Omar and Jody walked past, their lights flashed upon something metal and shiny. It was the blade of a knife, which was hidden in the hole of a tree. What is that? Wait, you found that in there? Bro, the handle was just sticking out right there. I seen something shiny like right before you grabbed it. I thought it was like a piece of like aluminum foil. Now you got your fingerprints on it. Bro, what if that belongs to that dude that we just came Bro, in the contact in, with? The intention was something used in a, a crime. What are the chances of somebody finding that though? Bro, what if that was used? I mean, we're in a bad neighborhood. We need to wipe it off. Are on it now. Look at that. What if, is, is there more in there? Look, there's like a big old hole in there. Like a Michael Myers looking knife. Bro, I seen it too. It That's crazy. I mean, put that back in. It doesn't there. look like it has like, any blood on it. Nah. I mean, maybe, maybe it, was, it wasn't used. Maybe or, somebody was like having a picnic out here. I mean, up some steak. what if somebody was going to use it in a crime? Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Right. Like premeditated murder. Maybe, That's still a crime. Hey, what if we were saving somebody's life by like moving it somewhere else? Oh, like it was. Yeah. Well, oh, what if you're hurting someone's life by taking it away either, too? Damn, you're right. Man. Like maybe somebody put it there to I'm protect glad. themselves. <laughs> I'm glad I have a common sense. You're hearing noises over that way. Here, Where? I'm gonna sneak it back in. Over here. Is it coming from that road? What bro, this place is sketch, bro. This is our first location. So. Was this knife used in the scene of a crime, then hidden? Or was this knife placed there and pretended to be found? That's up to you to decide. They decided to wipe off their fingerprints and leave the blade and carry on. For their next intention of the night, they inputted something haunted into the system and Rand and Otaka delivered. Among some roots and hidden under some foliage near a tree, there is an old creepy doll with a cord wrapped around it. Someone obviously threw it away and because Jody collects creepy dolls, one man's rubbish is another man's weird creepy randonautica finds. Like a porcelain doll or something. Is it? What? Oh shit, look at that. Bro, oh, it, that even, is... it has like a cord attached to it. Look. It's freaking creepy. What? Bro, I've never seen a doll with a cord attached to it. Whoa. Oh, she's wet. Some spooky looking eyes, too. Oh, dang, dude. She looks kind of creepy. Really creepy. And she's got a wedding dress on. Yeah, I heard something. Whoa, what is that? Yeah, I don't know. It's like music. Yeah, some it sounds like music, but I also heard like it would sound like somebody cranking up a chainsaw. It sounded like I, I don't think we should do it. I don't know if we're like on private property or something. Hey, think we should take this? Mmm. I mean, you Here, do yeah, like I'm haunted take, dolls. I'm take, I'm yeah. I mean, somebody it. obviously discarded it, so. Couldn't be too important if somebody left it out here in the middle of the woods. For their final intention of the night, they decide that they want Rand and Autica to lead them into something out of the ordinary. You won't believe what they find. So, in amongst the cemetery on the edge of the woods, and with a terrible stench in the air, the guys find something out of the ordinary. Just as they thought this location was a bust, they came across this. I keep hearing movements all around us. It's pretty intense out here, guys. I've never been back here either. I've been to Some Brooksville Cemetery before, but never back here in the woods. I don't know, I'm not really seeing anything out of the ordinary. What's well, this I mean, thing? You really wouldn't usually see this kind of stuff just hanging at the back of a cemetery like this, would you? It's kind of weird it's just like tossed out here. Like no real organizational 
Yeah. Nothing, you know, just thrown here. What the hell is flying around me? Sorry, there's something flying around me. I don't know what it was, but it sounded big and scary. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't afraid of no ghosts, but I sure as hell am afraid of a damn palmetto bug. Alright, <laughs> All right, I think this is probably going to be a, an L on this one. We can keep looking. I mean, there's a big giant field. And... Yeah, there's a lot of stuff scattered over here. I don't know if it makes any sense. Anything, we all pick up some EVPs on our camera. Oh, 100%. Definitely. We are at a legit haunted area, so I mean, if, if you've seen anything, so you can let me know here in the comments. Just, uh, you know, let us know. We're trying to comb the area before we leave because this was a little bit of a hike to get here. Alright, so we had a weird truck that just seemed like it was almost like stalking us over there. There's still a car sitting there. Is there still a car? Yeah, see the taillights? They might be doing the same thing here as us, but I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe they're just ghost hunting. Dude, what the hell is that? What? Bro, look. What is that? Holy, that's huge. That is a weird looking. Oh, it's like a window. Bro, that ain't no window. Oh my God. It looks like a window. What the hell is that, dude? Dude, that's a f guillotine. Is that what that is? That's Holy sh! Middle of the woods? In a cemetery? <gasps> dude, Bro. what the? F Yo, that is a legit guillotine, dude. Bro, I wonder if that's why they're over there. Oh sh! Do you think it's theirs? I don't know, dude. But why I don't. Would I don't. This be here? I don't know if I want to go anywhere near that. What if that's being used? We're like out in the middle of the woods, bro. That could be Were being used right now. Using it to chop up dead bodies. To watch the full video and others, jump over to the channel Raptor Adventures. What's in the bag? We keep hearing screaming periodically. I don't like it. Get the car. Oh my God! What is that? I'm not playing. Dude, that's so loud. Oh, bro, someone's oh. over there, bro. By popular demand, we're back with Jazco on another Randonautica adventure in the Pokemoke Forest. You guys seem to like Jazco. And him and Chris are on the second night in the Pokemoke Forest. And their intention is a crime scene. The reason behind the crime scene, as their intention, is according to CJ, there has been a lot of murders in the Pokemoke Forest and the surrounding area. So they decided that would be a good intention to start. Suddenly, Chris screams out and almost gives Jazco a heart attack. So, um, I, huh. The thing about the Pokemoke Forest, guys, is the silence is terrifying. So our intent for the night is crime scene, and I was not excited to do this intent by any means, but on the drive here, we were talking to CJ, and CJ says that Pokemoke Forest has a lot of history with, like, murders and etc., etc. That far and, in, so... I don't know. Dude, I'm telling you, you could hop that one. I could. It'd be impressive if you did. Like, I'm so scared right now. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I've told you 18 times that we could just go back and I'd be perfectly fine, but you're so into the Pokemon Forest. We need, we need to... So, sorry. So, here's what I'm going to tell you guys. Um, Sorry, I just bumped into you. Yeah, that's but... cool. Just punch <laughs> me in there. <laughs> um, Aggressive. I was going to say, while we're on the way here, um, we've been trying all these intents and. We're not having the best luck. Um, I hope CJ, as you guys know, CJ and I are splitting up. They have their own. Oh my goodness, that scared me. It's just. I'm sorry. <laughs> a tree. Yeah, dude, last night really like creeped me out. Like you could see that these are clearly footsteps right here. Yeah, I apologize in advance for looking back so much, but I'm just paranoid as fuck. So just being real with you. No, okay, okay. Let's just, let's just pull up a, some, some balls and just accept the fact that, like, listen, if someone is out here with us, then. Someone's out here with us. That's Someone, it. Someone's out here with us. You, uh, I actually it's just the silence, you know. Did it's bring like, my new knife that I just. Yeah, we both have knives now. That I did. I bring it. <laughs> oh, yes. stop! 
But cur currently we're filming a- uh, ah, what, 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 what is that in the what, tree, bro? Why There's just something in the fucking tree. Do you see that? Chris. What is that? Do you not see that right there? Dude, it's, a fucking, it's like a baby, bro. It looks like a fucking baby. As they get closer, they find a doll hanging in the tree. And this doll has its mouth taped shut. And it looks like there's something taped around its body. What they discover is a kid's toy, some kind of electronic kid's diary. And what's written inside, if it's real, is quite worrying. God. Oh my god. Look at it. I'm looking at it. Here. What is it? What's taped to it, bro? There's something taped to it. It's like chess. Here. Um. <sighs> Hold this for a second. Can mm. you? What the f is wrong with people, bro? I'm sorry for swearing. Good, take a shower. How the hell did someone it. get that up there? I don't know. <sighs> oh my god. Sorry, that. Dude. I was nice. What is taped to it? Bro, is that C4? Easy, easy, easy with that. Oh my god. What the f dude? Dude, this thing was tied to a tree in the middle of the forest. I know. I'm aware, bro. I don't like this. Hold on. Let's, can we? Don't do it. Even tape the mouth? Come on. That's horrible. What is on his chest? I'm scared to find out. I really am scared to find out. Dude, those arms don't belong to that torso. It's like two different shades. Ugh. This is like a built together doll. Look at the eyes. Oh my god. Bro, if you want to stay out here, I'm perfectly fine with it. Oh! Oh my god. Hold on. Mr. Yeah. Knife over here. Fun things up. Just rip it off, bro. Come on. Dude, I'm shaking from when you screamed. Relax, please. I'm I'm I literally cannot, out. like, hold. I'm I know, I know. So I'm... Dude, I'm shaking right now. I know. It's like you're being watched. Like, I literally understand why CJ and I'm are like so worried about this place. I get it. Totally get it. I didn't, I'm gonna ask CJ when we get back with him if he's ever found like any kid shit here. Because we, we've come across some kid shit in the past. There's a lot of duct tape. I don't want to be a dick, but can you like cut that thing off? Like, whatever you got. What am I looking at? Oh no. What in the world am I looking at? Can we just get rid of the doll? Like right away. Just throw it in the woods, be done with it. Okay, sure. Yay! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Oh, no. Is it a laptop or something? I'm not sure. <gasps> Oh stop, my stop the, god. Stop that. I don't like this. Oh my god. Shh, shh. Oh, look, it's a black light. Do we want to know what's on that? Oh, there's a regular flashlight. It's so cool. Okay. Yeah, imagine if you had a backlight in your backseat of your car. Do you see what that says? Pokemon Forest? Pokemon. They're close, Pokemon. I guess. How long was that? I don't like this, bro. Is your neck ready? Please go back. Donna is not a good person. It's written in green. Donna hurts. Bye -bye. No, no. I didn't even press anything. I, I didn't like even that. press anything. I didn't even press anything. Donna hurts people hard. I want to leave. Fuck that. I do not feel safe. Someone please help me. Oh, stop. <laughs> she hurts me so hard. I have to leave now. Aaron said. Aaron? Bro, we really need to get the f out of here. I'm serious. Okay, we okay, need to relax, go. Relax, relax. I can't relax. There's no relaxing. I'm going to be relaxed when I'm in the car. No, Chris. Look what? At me, look at me. Fear is contagious. So is relaxation. I get that. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Yeah, yeah. Let's continue. 
Aaron said, hi. hi, Professor. I'm just trying to tell Pokemon myself to like everything's okay. Aaron said, come to Pokemon Forest. He will keep me safe. Huh. Who the fuck is Aaron? Well, I don't know. Why would Aaron? Why would Aaron say you're here? You're safe here, of all places. Maybe you're safe here. I am scared of the forest. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Me too. Donna says girls go to Pokemon Forest and never come back. Was I swear I hear someone just like walking closer to us. It's raindrops. Yep, it's raindrops. Drop top. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get so much shit for people saying, oh, you're such a pussy, but like, please come out here and play in the Pokemon Forest. That's what we're calling it now, Pokemon Forest. But Donna hurts me, I have to go. I left. Oh, there's one page left. Aaron never showed up, I'm alone. Oh my Aaron God. told her to come to the forest. She came to the forest. Well, who is Aaron though? Like, we don't Aaron know who Aaron like, is. Who is That's Aaron the thing. Please enter your secret storage password. I just press this button right here. And then like that just Secret storage so... password does not match. Why is it Please like that? There's a password. Storage password. Turn it off. Just... What is the password? I don't know. <sighs> what is this? Goodbye. I found a doll hanging on tree. I went to get it down. What the fuck? You know what that means? The doll on the tree, bro. Like, where them here? Wait, 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 wait. I was screaming. Was it? Yeah. Chris, please tell me that's not someone down there. Stop, stop, stop. Let's just walk. Are you sure you saw somebody? I don't know. I don't... They call it a night after that and continue in the relative safety of the daylight. It's apparent by now that this forest has a strange hold of Jasgo and Chris and even CJ. And while out during the day, the duo stumble across this. That's the same duct tape, bro. There's more duct tape. Bro, that's a potato sack. Remember those potato sack races we did in school? Did you see what this says on it, bro? Direction, locate, capture, kill. Oh, Stuff what am I touching? Wretched remains I in bag. Send, Send to hell. hell. Bag good for all. Oh my goodness. All terror? Did I say that terror? Can't say that word. God bless America. Can we say that? Well, there's our intent right there. Terror. That's true. That's crazy. Holy shit. You're right. That's our intent. That right there is our intent. But we, our, our actual location is still like a little bit in yeah, the woods over here. There. But I was watching Comrade and Aubrey's video, and they, they pretty much say that like things along the way could always like correlate, so I don't know. It's not always what you see when you get there. Synchronicities. American Red Cross first aid kit. First aid kit. That's legit. Is there any tissues in there? I really need to blow my nose. Uh, no, but there's band-aids. Right. Band Not just one. A whole bunch of them. I mean, let's play devil's advocate here. Band-aids are standard in a first aid kit. Yes, and then we also found one on the back of our rear view camera. No, I know. I'm just trying to play both sides. Two nights ago. Right. This is right here. Holy f shit, bro. Hold on, hold on a sec. Dude, I'm fing speechless right now. No, bro, no way. This cannot be real, bro. What the fucking military uniform. To watch the full video and more of his content, jump over to his YouTube channel, Jazzco. To the point. Ooh. What the hell is this? This is Omar oh Gosh from the popular YouTube channel Omar oh Gosh TV. So, on a previous Randonautica video, Omar found this suitcase, which he still hasn't opened. But as he does so, he's suddenly filled with regret. Watch.
suitcase and open it up see what's inside there was a side of me that was like hey what if there's like a bomb or something in here i know mm -hmm. it's not anything dead or decaying actually smells like powder it's not locked oh boy i officially feel bad because this does look like it maybe belonged to a homeless person but i don't feel bad also and i'm gonna explain why too if this did belong to a homeless person this is what they do now being that this is a very busy area people know that there are homeless people that stay in these woods they help them out they bring them clean clothes all the time now a couple of years back there was a gentleman by the name of bill he was an avid sasquatch hunter and he was homeless living in the woods i felt bad for him when i started talking to him he was covered in tick bites i brought him to my house and i was like hey man you can stay here as i got to know him a little bit more this is kind of the thing that he did and he told me that homeless people do this too they have different stashes in different areas because they move around he would have garbage bag in the woods and they were in different places just in case he was in that area he had a place to, to have some clothes if he needed it spaghettios oh that's a full can right there can of tuna some toothpaste uh toothbrush okay that's not toothpaste preparation h well, those are those are pretty cool socks doesn't smell bad baby oil some combos oh cool look this is probably really stale. Okay, that was beyond stale. Beyond stale. Some toilet paper. Something in here. Ow. Ooh. How's this? What the? F I know exactly what this is. I'm glad I'm wearing gloves right now. I think I may have been pinched by one of these needles. I'm gonna have to check here. Yep, yep. I know what this is, and uh, it makes a lot of sense why there was a belt in here too. These are heroin needles and you could still see a bit of heroin still in them and the only reason I know this is because I've had family was addicted to, to drugs they'll put the powder in there and they'll heat this this spoon up after they're done they'll stick like a sometimes a cotton ball to just filter out any you know little rocks or anything and just give it to them in liquid form you know they put over their arm like that I'm looking for like maybe some teeth marks. Uh, I'm not seeing any. Oh, yep, right there. Oh, uh, there's more here too. Luckily, there's no actual drugs in here. Um, just a needle and, of course, you know, some paraphernalia. I don't know what to do. This person needs some help. And I mean, it's been a couple of months. I'm hoping maybe they went to rehab or something. Don't do drugs, kids. Like, this is the type of drug right here that has plagued many families. You can die from it. I know people out there want to try something for the very first time. This is one of those drugs that you do not try for the very first time because you will become addicted. More than likely, this is why this person is on the streets or was on the streets. I'm hoping. Fingers crossed. I'm actually pretty disgusting. I'm kind of shocked that this was at my house for several months. So I did get a little sting on my hand, but it didn't break the skin. I don't see any blood. See it right there, it just kind of scraped the surface. Um, thank God I weren't wearing these gloves here. I definitely would have gotten stuck with a heroin needle. Yeah, no blood. I think I'm okay. It, it literally just gave me a scratch. More than likely that is what pinched me, unless it was like the edge of the suitcase or something. Special delivery.
For our next spot, we're back with Mr. CJ Faison. A lot of you guys seem to like CJ, but the other half of you seem to say that he fixes a lot of things and a lot of his content is fake. That's up to you to decide. I'm just showing you it. So this is an old video of his and you've probably already seen it, but like I said before, you guys seem to love watching CJ and Jazzco. So in this episode, CJ is with Dylan in a forest in Southern Maryland, which he's been led to by Randon Autica. So after four busts in a row, CJ pulls over and chooses a fan's intention. His location is six miles away. So they hit the road. One more thing about these forests that CJ goes to. I don't know if it's wild animals or humans, but you can always hear screaming in the background. So, as CJ is exploring the location, he comes across a box on the forest floor that turns out to be an unopened Elvis video. So I guess someone didn't like his music. CJ's next find, however, isn't, how can I put it, so interesting. I swear to you, there's like plastic on this. The bag's froze. Ugh! Oh my God. Some my poop. Oh, oh. There's poop in that bag, dude. This literally, but there's so much shit in a bag. He regroups and drives to another location and sees something. His next intent was divinity. So I don't know where the connection was, but if you guys saw a connection, let me know in the comments below. We're not going through Briar City. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, God. What is that? Bro, what the hell? Oh my gosh, there's a bunch of stuff in there, dude. Yeah. Look at this. Get this. It's like taped. Yeah. Okay. Oh, shit. Shotgun shells. There's shotgun shells. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. What oh, is that? Oh, the eyes, eyes blink. Oh, no. He's looking at his ass. Look, his head's turning around. <laughs> oh, my God. There's more shotgun shells. What's that? What's in this? What's supposed to be in this? I don't know. Why was it taped like that, though? I have no idea. You know what I mean? Yeah, I have no idea. Get a good picture. To watch the full video, jump over to his channel, CJ Faison. CSI. This is Jody Dean from the popular YouTube channel, Hunting the Dead. Today, Jody's out with his partner on another random nautica hunt. In the last few months, Jody has had a lot of luck with Random Nautica. He always looks for haunted items and this has brought him nothing but trouble. They've been followed, stalked, chased, they've even been shot at. So today, he chose something different. Today, his intent was a crime scene. So they focus on their intent and head off. After a couple of not so interesting finds, 
ran in order to send them to a forested area behind some houses. So they walk down a path and find a cemetery. Here they find a book which holds a secret. I don't see, see anything either. Oh, I got something. I don't know. Oh, don't touch it. Why are you always touching things? It's a book. That's why. It's. Here, hold this real quick. What? what? Die, die, die. What's that say? Look, it looks like a bunch of KKK people looking through the windows. Oh. Yeah. Dude, can you see that through the camera? Yeah. What? Bleach mop, bleach mop, bleach, bleach mop. mop. Why would somebody write that over and over? It's on the next page. Like a killer's diary or something. I told you not to touch it when I'm touching it. I know. She tells me not to touch it and she touches it. Bleach. Look, there's three marks on this woman's breast here, and they're all sixes. I just heard footsteps. I just heard footsteps. <gasps> Dude, what? There's Shut another up. SD card. There's Leave another one. Oh Leave my it. god. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Well, that was our intention. Leave it. Why would I leave it? This was our intention to find a crime scene. Look, there's crosses drawn all over this. It says die, it says bleach mop. What if this is evidence to solving a freaking murder? Bro, what? It's taped? Why is it taped? Somebody wanted us to find this. That's why they taped it. Why else would you tape it? Wait, 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 wait. What's that written on it? Dude, it's all crosses. Get the whole thing in frame. Oh. Wait, what is this? Shit. Watch, Watch and, and die. die. Watch and die. Mother, what are you gonna do? You're watching me right now. Oh my God. <gasps> okay. Hmm. Where did that branch come from? Because literally. <laughs> Watch what? and die. I'm not putting it back. I mean, this what is what we were wait, supposed to find. I, I want. I thought it said my name, but it doesn't. It says. I want to die. I want him to, to die. die. I, I want, want to, to die. die. I want her to die. What? Shut up. I want to go to hell. I will gag. I will gag. Dude, what? this is the creepiest thing I think we found. I yet. want to go to hell. I want to go. I want. I want. What? Dude, what, what a, a nut, nut job. job! Hey, what if this is? What if this is? What was that? What if the stalker, our stalker? What if 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 he? What if he hacked this app and he wanted us to find this? I keep hearing stuff to the left. There's nothing else. That's it. He only. Dude, there's an SD card. We're taking it. What? We're gonna go find out what's on it. It looks like there's blood I on say... the SD card. If you look, it looks like there's blood underneath there. Can you see that? Ew. Sorry guys, at least she's not as good at filming as I am, but. We just found a book with the SD card in it, and this book has all kinds of crazy shit on it. I'm starting to wonder, and tell me if I'm wrong, are you wondering if our stalker has something to do with this? Because yeah. why? Why would he keep messing with this? He's been to jail twice. I kicked the f out of the guy, the hammered him in his face. Is he right. playing this I'm game is what I want to know. I'm going back to the car. I'm done. I'm going back to the car too because I want to see what's on this card. We found exactly what. What the? Dude! There was another gunshot. I was about There was just another gunshot over there. What the f 
I'm not sure that that was at us, but there definitely was another gunshot, and it's crazy. It sounded like it was at a distance. Maybe we ran for nothing. I don't know. Police. Do you believe that was real or fake? To watch the full video, jump over to his YouTube channel, Hunting the Dead. Hide and seek. This is Dan from Exploring with Fighters from my backyard in England. They've had a lot of luck with Random Nautica also, and when they're not using the app, they're normally exploring abandoned buildings and haunted locations for their YouTube channel. Now, I'm not exactly sure what happened in this episode, but Dan's joined by two of his friends from another channel. They generate a void in the middle of the woods, and after a few minutes, they arrive at their first location. Right. We're here now. I don't know how accurate it's going to be, but. See, now we need metal detector. This is not going to work. I have to turn my light off. Yeah, but who's to say we're finding some metal? Well, the majority of things we find are metal. True. It's going to be impossible. It's not like when you're doing. Uh, I don't even want to put my eye on. I'll put my eye on. Yo, bro! Bro, look, dude, another key, another key. Oh, no, no, that's the exact same as my other one. What? That's, bro, that looks the same as the big key that I found. Seriously? It's like, yeah. it's so bizarre. There's just no explanation for there's any no, of this stuff. There's no explanation at all. I don't know. There's no explanation at all for that key because for us to find another key that's exactly the same as the other one is impossible. Nigh on impossible. After finding the key with a weird design on it, they decide to give it a couple of more goes and then call it a night. So, as the fog rolls in on the moors in the middle of the night, in the middle of nowhere, they generate the next location. It didn't go well. Watch. Why do I do this? You know, I always say this. I always end up in a, a forest when I'm with you. I know. Yeah, I, do you know what? Is that like some sub? It's like fairy tale place, man. God, the trees are just like. Oh, the fog's rolling as well. What the hell is that? Oh, a fallen tree. Look like something weird then, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh! Oh my god. Oh! Dude, that's not good. Yeah, okay. Oh, nearly hang yeah. into this I'll quick turn mode. It. You know. Stacy? Yeah. Shall I go for it? Stacy! Bro, she was right here a second ago. Bro, she was literally, bro, she was literally here. Stacy, she was here, literally next to me a second ago. Why what's that down there? What? What is it? What? Oh, it's just, I think it's just like to do something. No, where, where's she gone? I don't know. Wait, was turn you turn your lights at full blast? Stacy. Oh, come on, don't leave me. No, she'd have said, bro. We're in the middle of a forest. Bro, what the hell? She was, she was next to me a second ago. What the hell? Bro. Stacy! Hey! I know this Bro, is. Bro, I'm freaking out. I'm serious right now. No, seriously. It's not like. Bro, I don't know. Stacy! I know this is this is what the bro she was just there now. 
He was just there behind us. No. Bro. Bro, 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 bro. Oh, do you have a signal on your phone? Check your phone. Dude, she was just, like, she was literally just there then. Right, shh, shh, calm down. Don't, stop jumping, you freaking me the fuck out, bro. Sorry, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm literally just like... Bro, it's the middle of the forest. Why the f she would not just run off? I'll tell you now. Right, I'm ringing it. Don't get the number in. Yeah. Just turn it upside down. Stacy. 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 Have you got full signal? Yeah, bro. It's uh, 4G. Two bucks. She's two answered as well. Stacy. Hello. What? Bro, let me let me check my phone if I've got full bars. Did you have? Have you got full bars? Yeah, like two bars. I've got two bars of 4G. Yeah. I've, got, I've got two bars, but if it was signal, then obviously it wouldn't have gone through. It would have been all crackly. Right, this is fucking dodgy. Bro, we're in fucking pitch black forest and she's gone missing. Yeah. I swear yeah. to God, if she's pranking, I'm gonna go mad. It would be funny, bro. I will not be walking around there on my own, man. It's basically freaky. Freaky as shit. Stacey! No, I don't either. How far away from the pinot? What? Bro, I just thought he had like twigs snapping again. Oh, the good. Did you hear it? Shiny light. I'm shiny, bro. Bro, just, just ring it back again, man. Just... If you're still watching, then that means you're a fan of horror and the supernatural. So, before we get to the next clip, if you're a fan of ghosts, demons, poltergeists, haunted locations, exorcisms, true crimes, torture, creepy pastors, and the strange, dark, and mysterious, then you're watching the right channel for you. Because I absolutely love horror. That's what I love, and that's what I do. So, if what I do is something that interests you, then please can you show your support and subscribe to my channel, Project Dark Knight Horror. Then, find the like button. And, when he's not looking, bash him over the head with a barbed wire baseball bat called Lucille. And then, ask him to cut off his son's arm with a hatchet. Let's see what he does. Great Monday. If you're brand new to the page, hit that subscribe button. Like, um, start at the bottom. Work your way up. Um, best way to do the video. Start at the bottom. Work your way up. For my last randonaut, let me introduce League from the YouTube channel Exploring with League. Now, you won't see any dolls hanging from trees, or you won't find any masks lying in the forest with League, but what you will find is one of the last few real randonauts left. He explores abandoned buildings, he randonauts every day, and he finds some interesting things along the way, like machetes and burial sites. Also, recently he must have annoyed someone because he's been stalked. If somebody does pull in here or whatever, then that's okay. I'll explain to him why I'm here. Literally, my pin is straight ahead. Boom, right there. That's my pin from Rain Anonica. Black hole. It's Whoa, dude. We're inside the mall, bro. <laughs> hold up a second. Just hold up a second. Just take it. Just stop for a second. Stop for a second. Take this in. You know what? I'm gonna give you the camera. Yeah, I know. I wish I had thought to bring mine. Right. 
So yo, what's up everybody? We are inside the video tomorrow. I don't know if you can see me or not, but I wonder how long the has been anybody been in there. Probably not too long. No, I meant like full like shopping. It's probably been like 20 years. Oh, it's China. Oh, wait. So, if you want to rediscover what real Randa Nautica is, check out his channel Exploring with League and show him some support, and tell him I sent you. That's it for today. Hope you understood what I'm saying and I hope you liked the video. Look out for some paranormal and some true crime next. You've been watching Project Dark Knight Horror, and I am the Dark Knight. Signing off. Peace. Don't ever laugh as the hearse goes by For you may be the next to die They wrap you up in a big white sheet From your head down to your feet They put you in a big black box And cover you up with dirt and rock